Hey everybody, welcome to Mini Beginner's Crash Course to Elasticsearch and Kibana. My name is Lisa Jung and I'm a developer advocate in Elastic. So this is a series of short videos for developers who want to get started with Elasticsearch and Kibana. In episode 13, we learned about the bool query and this query can be used to combine multiple queries into one request. It consists of four clauses, which are must, must not, should, and filter. And these clauses can be mixed and matched to narrow down your search results. In a previous episode, we covered must and must not clauses. Today, we'll cover should and filter clauses and learn when to use them. Okay, so we're going to pick up where we left off from episode 13. So be sure to watch that episode before starting this one. In a previous episode, we've been working with news headlines data set to see how the bull query works. Specifically, we've been exploring news headlines about Michelle Obama. And we learned that there are many headlines about her under various categories like politics, weddings, taste, and style. Today, we'll delve deeper into these headlines, and I'm going to show you how the should and filter clauses could be used to customize our search results even more. To do that, I have two windows open side by side. On the left, I have the Kibana console. On the right, I have the part three repo. And I've scrolled down to the should clause section, then down to example. In episode 13, we learned that you could list multiple queries under each clause. These queries serve as criteria a document should meet to be included in the search results. Now, the queries listed under the should clause are nice to have criteria. In other words, the documents don't need to meet these criteria to be returned as hits. However, the ones that do will be given a higher score, so it shows up higher in the search results. So let's talk about a scenario where we might use the should clause. So February is Black History Month, and let's say a user searches for Michelle Obama in February. And it's possible that the user is searching in the context of Black History Month more than in the context of her wedding, taste, or style. To accommodate this context, we could use the should clause so that Michelle Obama headlines that belong to the category Black Voices will be shown higher in the search results. So this is very similar to the last request we sent in episode 13, except that we're using the should clause. So here we have the bull query, which says, all hits must match the phrase Michelle Obama in the field headline. Just a heads up, the hits do not have to match the queries under the should clause. However, if a hit matches the phrase black voices in the field category, give it a high score so it ends up higher in the search results. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. When you send this request, you'll see that we got 207 hits, the same number of hits that we got from the last request from episode 13. And this makes sense because the should clause does not add or exclude more hits. However, it does change the ranking of the documents. So if you look at these documents, you'll see that all top 10 hits are from category Black Voices. And as you can see, all the hits that matched our criteria under the should clause were moved to the top of the list. So let's move on to the last clause, which is the filter clause. So let's scroll down to that section. So the filter clause contains filter queries that place documents in either yes or no category. For example, let's say you're looking for news headlines published within a certain time range. So you set a time range filter, which determines which documents fall within this range and which ones don't. And the only ones that fall into the yes category will be included in the hits. So let's put that to the test and scroll down to example. 
Let's say we want all Michelle Obama headlines published within a certain time range. This is the bull query that you're going to send, which says all hits must match the phrase Michelle Obama in the field headline. And I'm including a filter clause here with a date range. And all hits must be published between these two dates. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. You'll see that we have 33 hits. And if you look at the date of all of these hits, you'll see that these headlines have been published between these two dates we specified here. So by using the filter clause, we were able to retrieve documents that belong to the yes category. All right, we just learned about should and filter clauses of the bull query and when these clauses should be used. This content is an excerpt from the beginner's crash course to Elastic Stack Part 3. Part 3 is a full-length workshop where I talk about advanced search queries designed to search text fields. And we also talk about how we could build a combination of queries to answer complex questions. So if you prefer the full-length workshop format, check out the link shown on the screen. And the link is also included in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Mini Beginner's Crash Course to Elasticsearch and Kibana.